Hi everyone and today in CBI session I will be talk about submission of different kinds of data especially nucleotide data using a bunch of tools of NCBI. This is part 2 of NCBI session and the previous NCBI session part 1 I have discussed the learning option in NCBI and I think learning facility is very important. First you want to understand the NCBI database and the embedded tools and software in this database. And secondly if you are doing research on a specific topic for example gene expression you can find various webinars and other online tutorials related to this topic and many others. Before we begin, please subscribe and press bell icon so you'll receive the upcoming parts of NCBI session. So we have many tools for different types of data such as submission portal GeneBank which is used for specific data type submission and second as a Bankit tool designed for a lot of different kinds of data submission and third is Genome tool used to submit draft and complete genomes and sequence rate RQ SRA tool you can submit unassembled but uh, quality check rates using this tool and the fifth is uh, transcriptome sh shotgun assembly or TSA first you need to submit the quality check rates using SRA tool and then you will be able to submit transcribed RNA sequences using TSA tool and gene expression omnibus tool here you can submit uh, gene expression and epigenomics data and the seventh is medical genetics and variation tools through which you can submit data you get from clinical trials and other types of human variant data and the last one is manuscripts so only NIH affiliated authors those people working in the National Institute of Health can submit papers using this tool but in this video our goal is small i will be talk briefly about the first tool submission portal uh, which is used for specific data type all right in this slide i have listed the types of nucleotide data you can submit to submission portal so let's look on it first you can submit prokaryotic ribosomal rna or intergenic spatial region data such as 16S, 23S or you can also submit the entire region from 16 to 23S and etc. And you can also submit eukaryotic nuclear ribosomal RNA sequence data such as ITS1 and 2 and small subunit 18S and the large subunit 28S. And you can also submit this whole region from 18S ITS and to 28S. In addition, you can also submit data from ribosomal RNA of organelles such as mitochondria and chloroplast. For example, you can submit cytochrome oxidase subunit 1 data. And also, you can submit metazone mitochondrial cytochrome oxidase subunit 1 sequence data. And finally, you can submit complete or partial genome sequences of some viruses such as influenza virus, norovirus, and dengue virus. Alright, so let's see the submission portal in the NCBI database. Uh, just type the NCBI web address and hit enter button. So it will open the NCBI homepage. And on this page, if you look on the left hand side, you will see the submit option to deposit data or manuscripts into NCBI databases. So click on the submit button. And it will open for you the submission portal page where you can start your submission. But first, let's talk about the suggest tool. When you type some words of your sequence data, it will suggest the right tool to submit your data. However, if you are not expert, then leave it and let's try to select by manual search. So let's scroll down this page a little bit now. So here you can see all of the tools of the gene being you can use for your submission of sequence data. So the first tool is submission portal of GeneBank 
and it's better to see more information about this tool if you want so let's click on the learn more button so it will open the GeneBank submission portal tool for you and here you can see uh, the description about submission portal what kind of data you can submit to through this tool and down below you can see the overview about this tool uh, this submission tool is for the specific data types indicated below so you you can only submit these types of data and if you go to data section you will see the uh, GeneBank submission information required uh, during your submission process so you need to prepare these general information contact details authors publication data release date and uh, sequencing technology you have used for the generation of your sequences and important thing here is uh, the GeneBank only accepts uh, sequences formatted in faster form so you need to uh, format your sequences in faster form and down below you can see so you during submission process uh, the GeneBank submission portal tool will ask you the organism name and more information such as isolate, strain, collection date, country and here you, if you go to faster section here you can see how to make the faster file so this is example uh, given to you to understand the faster file and if you click on the source button you will see the uh, more information about your submission of sequence data such as isolate uh, clone strain or specimen feature and finally we have processing so in this page uh, the NCBI GeneBank tell you how we process the sequence data so if there are some errors such as vector or adapter contamination, uh, source problems, and so on. So first the GeneBank will correct these problems and then it will tell you about the submission process. So let's go back and see how we can start new submission. So when you click on the submit option, the submission part, uh, portal page will open. On this page you can start your new submission but before submission you need to complete your profile and then you can start new submission from here again on this page all the detailed information are given about these data types so you can read uh, this information about each data type what you need to include your data submission So I hope this video submission portal of GeneBank would be useful for you. See you in the next video of NCBI session.